I will give you some input string. Now you need to get the count of each character. Just like Y is occurring once, A is occurring one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. Okay. So Y one, A six, like that. Count of each character in your name. So hello guys. As per the interview scenario, we have to count each character in our name. So for that, we have to go step by step. So I have listed down some steps here, right? So we'll go step by step. First step is create the string for our name. And second is to convert the string to character. Array. Okay. So let's start our coding. I'll create string name is equals to I suppose take your name as Allu Arjun. Okay. Now second step is to get the character array or create the character array and name it as C array equals to. So there is a one method in string. Using that method. We can convert our string to character array. So that method is to character array. Okay. I forget here. Yeah. Uh, our two steps are completed here, right? Now third step is to create a for each loop or simple for loop to iterate each character. So I'm going to use here for each loop. Okay. Yeah, we'll create a for each loop and name it as C and we'll use here our C array. Okay, inside this for loop, we got our character that is a C, right? So that third step is completed, and fourth step is we'll check that character is already counted or not right so that will not uh, check uh, same character again and again right so for this first we'll create here one list list of characters and here we'll we'll check in if condition that list contains our character or not that is a method contains we will provide our character okay. here we provide not so here condition is list not doesn't contains our character then only we'll proceed further okay so initially our list is empty so this will simply go inside the if condition right now here well again so our four step is completed right now fifth step is we'll create second inner for loop okay to iterate the same the character array that we have created right so for that we'll again create one more for loop here same character here I'm using ch and same our c array. So I'll explain the whole logic. Let me first complete this for loop. Okay. So inside this for loop we'll compare our characters. So for outer for loop we got this C right and for inner for loop we got this CH so here we'll check if C is equals to equals to CH okay. so if that are equal then we'll increase our counter so for that inside this for loop I'll create one integer counter equals to zero okay and here I'll increase this count okay so here 
when this uh, outer for loop is executed so for first iteration a c will be a right this a right so this a and for this inner for loop this uh, ch will be same a right so what will happen this will compare this if we will compare this c or c and ch are equal or not if equal then a counter will be increases right this second iteration this for loop will have ch value as l right l only so in this case this will if condition will check here c is same a and ch is l right so in this case these are not same so counter will not increase and it will skip the if condition right this is how for each for each character of outer for loop it will compare all the characters of the string and this is how our counter will be increases now outside this inner for loop we simply print our character okay c and count of the character and after this now our first character of this outer for loop is a is completed right so we'll add this in our list okay so that it will not repeat okay so simply we'll execute our code let's see the output now you can see each character count is displayed here but you can see it counts space as well right so if you want to remove the space we can change our code like here inside this if condition as well we'll add one more condition using the and that c is not equals to space okay using this condition we can remove the space in our output let's see the output now okay. you can see here space is removed from the output now right so this is how we can count the character of any given string here we have taken the example of name but you can uh, give any input and you can count any character counts here there is a second way as well using the map hash map but uh, if you want that way as well we'll explain in another video and if you have any doubts in this video or this concept let me know in comment box and and please do subscribe for more real interview scenarios like this. Thank you so much.